Hi all, and welcome back to The Neighborhood. Today, we're taking a look at an attached cable IM with an LCP liquid crystal diaphragm driver. Ever since the release of the original Tanshim HANA, this driver technology has been somewhat of the rage, with every company trying to put their own stamp on it. Astrotech has released the Vesna here, both in a detachable cable and non-detachable cable variant. The latter of which comes in at only $20, is surprisingly well constructed, and was provided to the channel by Keep Hi-Fi. So let's get into it. So unlike other offerings like the Quirks or the Chew, this is an attached cable IM with a nice wire that remains free of kinks and memory. I've carried these around with me off and on again for a couple of weeks now, and the wire still ravels and unravels easily and remains straight when in use. In terms of its cable more specifically, the only complaint that I have here is that the microphone gets in the way of the slider, and the slider itself is constructed out of plastic. But for the $20 this IM cost, this plastic slider is better than most. I mean, I've seen worse plastic sliders on sets that cost hundreds of dollars. I've received no complaint of the microphone on voice calls, and the single button that is responsible for playback, stop, skip forward functionality was easy to use on the daily. I just wish there was potentially a triple tap or an additional button for skip back functionality, as you just can't start the song over if you pause or stop it when in playback. Nevertheless, the general hardware here, including the 3.5mm termination, is of a good size, and it's not too small nor too large, and I think that these will live up to the test of time for many. The bullet style shell attached to the cable can be worn down ear or wrapped around the ear and I prefer the latter for stability, however the microphone does rise up to my jawline when this IM is worn in this fashion. The construction of the shell appears to be a lightweight metal one as it can become cool to the touch and it is finished off with a nice iridescent blue cap on its end to add both visual contrast and a stylish flare. There's also nice rubberized strain relief at the base of the IM where the wire attaches and it appears that Astrotech has really put a lot of effort into designing this IM well, especially on the cheap. This attention to detail also carried over into the package of the Vesna, which was a nice unboxing experience and came with its own USB-C dongle and a nicely designed carry pouch, which flexes open and closed to secure the IM when in transport. The dongle itself didn't work with any of my devices, but it's still a nice inclusion for the money for those that can make use of it. Just about the only real gripe that I have with the package here are the silicone ear tips. Visually, they look fine, and fit-wise they are comfortable to wear, but from a sound design perspective, they just don't sound any good. With the stock tips, the Vesna emphasizes too much mid-bass, causes sibilance in the voice reproduction, and the LCP driver is really held back with regard to its capability. With this set, I preferred Ludos memory foam ear tips, as these produced the most even sound and virtually eliminated all sibilance. With that said, the Vesna is both rather tip dependent and amplifier reliant, so it is kind of hard to tell you what you're going to get from the Vesna in terms of auditory performance, as it will sound notably different based on such factors. For example, it pretty much only produced mids and treble when driven off my audio jack on my cell phone, which was a disappointment, as from a portable carry perspective, this appears to be a functional use case scenario that this IM was designed for. And while it sounded okay when driven via the FIO BTR3K, it really did not come alive until I powered it off either the Centrin Stackport HD or desktop amplification. Off the right source, the LCP driver on this thing is surprisingly capable. Astrotech claims this is because it uses a Japanese LCP, which is different from other LCP drivers in that it uses a cast solution rather than a melt extrusion method in its construction. It is never a bass-centric set, but it is capable of some rumble and can dig deep at times depending on the track to produce just enough low end to be satisfying to the listener. With that said, bass heads and rap enthusiasts should still stay clear of this one, as this is more of a mid-driven set with flashes of treble brilliance. Still, 
While the Vesna does have somewhat of a dry, airy timbre, it does not have much representation from the later air regions of the treble, as sonics begin to fall off at 9k and fall off to the midline around 10k. So expect flashes of brilliance here rather than a robust brilliance extension. Nevertheless, the mid-range shines on the Vesna, and this will be an excellent IM for those that are after a somewhat lean-sounding, mid-forward, neutral-timbered set whose bass reproduction never gets in the way of the track. For $20, the soundstage of these is well done and larger in its scope and width than many other sets. It certainly has at least double if not triple the stage of its most likely competitor, the Moondrop Chew, and furthermore, sounds more natural within it. Check out my video on the Chew for additional comparisons with that IEM. I'll place a link both to the website review on www.intuitreviews.com and to the Chew video here posted on YouTube. So, the Astrotech Vesna won't be for everybody, nor will it be easy to know exactly what kind of sound you will be getting. Even so, I do like the Vesna and hope that the community can use my sound descriptions here to determine if the Vesna will be worth the risk for them. As off the right source, with the right tips, I truly do enjoy its presentation. Oh, and with regard to the detachable cable variant, I have not heard that particular set myself yet, but my understanding is that the wired variant is really the one to get. It measures slightly better, and most people who have heard both appear to prefer the wired one as well. With that said, this information is hearsay, so take it with a grain of salt, as like I've already said, I can't attest to it with my own ears. But before you go, make sure to check out The Neighborhood via all its links in the description and consider leaving a comment, a big thumbs up on this video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I also really enjoy interacting with you guys and appreciate all your support. And with that, I'm out for now.